Hey guys, welcome back to Open Road for Two. In today's video, we're gonna be sharing with you a product review slash install video on something we've been getting quite an interest um, that was installed recently on the truck. Everywhere we've gone since we've installed it, everybody asks about that guy back there that you can see in the background, our gun case up there on our rack. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna show you how it's done. I mean, there's a lot of questions about how to install it. It's a super simple process, depending on what type of rack you have on your car, but you know, we liked it so much that we're going to do it twice. So. We're going to install one on the Forerunner, and we're also going to share with you, you know, what are these boxes used for? Some people might not know, so stay tuned and let's get into it. Let's go. All right. So what are these boxes? These cases um, people use to carry equipment. They are weatherproof storage constructed from extremely durable polypropylene. Um, they can take a beating. They protect your contents from impact, moisture, and microscopic dust, which is definitely a must-have going off-road. When you open up the case, you'll notice that there is pick-apart foam. Um, these are in here so that you can customize whatever gear you're want, you might be carrying with you. It could be um, camera equipment. It could be an actual rifle. So you can cut away certain parts of the area foam so that your equipment is actually protected and secure within the case. Um, for us, though, we're actually going to be removing this because I think I'm going to be carrying my recovery gear here in this box. In this particular case on um, here, there's three layers of foam. For the installation video, we're gonna actually remove them so we can show you where we drill it onto the roof rack. Um, however, after we're done, we're actually gonna keep um, one of the layers in to keep the integrity of the box and to keep things from rattling around, um, you know, on bumpy trails. No one wants to hear your case with something rattling around on the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out. One, two, And three. So after selecting the size case you're going to go with, and in this case we've obviously selected the rifle case, the next important thing is determining where it's going to go on your rack. In this case we do not have a rooftop tent like we do on uh, our truck, so in this case we want to go front to back and along parallel with the car so that it's easily accessible, your buckles are here, and we don't want to go so far forward or so far back. We chose kind of right in the middle. We're hoping to reduce some of the, the road noise that we get if it's too far forward. The suit rack that we have on the Forerunner um, allows some um, allows for adjustability with the bars. So on the rifle case here, there are some raised feet that we're going to be using as our placement for our drill points that will attach to the Prinsu rack. So using one of the bars off the Prinsu rack, we're gonna actually use this as a template to line up with the feet here on the, um, the case for our drill points. So as you can see, I've got the four marking points of where I'm gonna drill into the actual case. All right, safety first. We're gonna start with a 1 8 drill bit for our pilot hole. All right, since we're using the one quarter hardware, I changed out the drill bit to the one quarter bit, so we're gonna make the hole now bigger. Okay, this is the scary part. It's not scary, it's no, just... it's just loud. One of the benefits of the Prinsu rack are these channels and each of the bars are adjustable. So you can move them around on the rack um, to suit whatever you're putting up on top, rooftop tent, gear, um, in, our, in this case, a gearbox. So once you have the case mounted up on top, this is probably the hardest part of the install, is lining up the screws with the holes you drilled and placing the rack over those so they feed through and mount it. 
So here we go. The hardest part of the whole install is getting these just to line up right and getting the rack on, which I just did. So I guess sometimes it's easier than others. So now I just gotta push them down, but you can see that they line up. Now we just gotta feed it all the way down so that we can bolt them on. So we'll gotta get... All right, so we're gonna put our washer, locking washer, and a nut. Oops. So for this installation, we did not use any silicone. Um, it doesn't hurt to apply some, especially if you're carrying sensitive um, technical equipment in your boxes. In our case, this is gonna be for more recovery gear. Um, the holes that we did drill are actually a really nice tight fit with the hardware. So um, we didn't feel that we needed to actually apply it in this instance, so. But otherwise, um, it doesn't hurt, but just for this case in this video, we did not. Four down, four more to go. All right. This baby's not going anywhere. Snug. Not bad for my first install. Um, one thing that we didn't mention is with the adjustable bars on the Prince rack, we kept these loose as we lined up the case on top. So that would give us a little bit of flexibility so that we can get a nice um, fit and finish. So now I'm gonna go ahead back and um, tighten these so that it's nice and secure. A great perk of these boxes is the capability to keep your gear locked. Um, on this rifle case, there's one here and then there's another one at the front. Hope you enjoyed this video, which turned out to be my install video of me learning how to install the gearbox on my Forerunner. She did a great job. I was behind the camera the whole time. Comment on how she did. It was super fun. Um, I hope you find the information um, valuable in um, putting something similar on your rack. Remember the, on the Forerunner, this is the Prinsu. Um, the one on our Tacoma is a Martin Off-Road. Um, I'll make sure to put links below on both racks. Um, they're both great options. And this video will actually um, is universal for most of the gearboxes on the market. There's Apache at Harbor Freight, Rome, Vault, Pelican. Um, we'll put descriptions for a variety variety below so that you can select one also. Thanks again for watching you guys. Um, yeah, please give me a comment on how I did. Um, this was my first time doing this, but it was a lot of fun. Love, loved sharing it with you. Hit that subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber and come along on our adventures. Until the next time, we'll see you on the open road. Bye.